Tony Award winning actress from Detroit is being honored in a big way today. Celia Keenan Bolger Day is today. That's right. It celebrates this Detroit actress who won the Tony this year for playing Scout in To Kill a Mockingbird, uh, a Broadway play that starred another Michigan actor, Jeff Daniels. Celia Keenan Bolger joins us live in studio. That's you. You're a Tony Award winner. I am. I am. And today is your day. Congratulations. I guess, right? Thank <laughs> you. It's so cool. It is. I didn't really realize that this was a thing, that Detroit had days for people. And I was like, well, if I get one, I'm so excited about the many other people in Detroit who will get their own day now because we have so many amazing people who have done good work in the city and now live other places or live here. It's just an enormous honor. Right, and you're from Detroit, yep. grew up in the city. I did. Welcome home, how does Thank it feel? You. Oh, it's so nice, <laughs> the snow is no joke. I know. I was like, oh, this seems, you know, just I about. This. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> this seems about right. Right, so what's it like seeing all the changes when you come back to the city? You know, it's really, I feel like it's very, it's a really exciting time for Detroit. And I had a really great meal last night at a restaurant um, at Selden's. And, but I also am just so, you know, I have so many friends from elementary school and high school who have lived here, you know, mm -hmm. all of these years and have been putting all of their lifeblood into the city and the fact that, you know, the city is changing and that they get to also be a part of that, having lived here throughout all of the time when it wasn't thriving in the way that it is now is also like very exciting to see. Super exciting. Exciting to star opposite Jeff Daniels. I mean, talk about like Michigan grown. Yeah, and, how about legendary. that? Yeah. <laughs> the first day we were sitting around the table and I was like, Jeff Daniels, I'm also from Michigan. And he was like, uh-huh. And I was like, I like grew up going to the Purple Rose Theater and he was like, uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> true. I was like, all right, so it seems like, but you know, Jeff was really, sometimes when you have stars who do shows on Broadway, it can be a complicated dynamic, um, particularly if they're movie stars. And Jeff was just always, he has that Midwestern work ethic. I think mm -hmm. he just really understood like, I'm here to do a job. I'm here to like, he never missed a show. We did like mm -hmm. 400 something shows. And I was like, oh yeah, that's just like that Midwestern stock. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is you, a scout. Oh yeah. Right, kill <laughs> Again, Tony Award winner for To Kill a Mockingbird, the highest grossing American play in Broadway history. Uh, what was your reaction when they called your name at the Tonys? I mean, I was, I, it was also my fourth time there. So mm -hmm. I was like, I really, uh, I really hope that this time I get to go up on that stage. And honestly, like I didn't have a whole speech prepared, but I knew if I got up there that I was like, I want to talk about growing up in Detroit mm -hmm. and the fact that this is where all of my roots are, are where I got to go to the theater, I got to go to the DIA, all the culture in my life was like built in a place and I wanted I wanted to be able to say that in front of a lot of people. You're also in the Mosaic Youth. Yes. Which I was like, that makes so much sense because yes. those kids are super brilliantly <laughs> oh talented. God. Now look at you. That was Please. one of the formative experiences of my life and you know often I had to go I would go to the suburbs to do theater and, and Mosaic was so special because it was in Detroit and it also, it was one of the first, I did a, the musical Runaways and it was like one of the first times that I was like, oh, theater can also be important and have something to say and not just like singing and dancing. Yeah, definitely. Did, didn't you also pick up uh, ACLU uh, Freedom Award? I just did, yes. Tell us about that. that was, um, the NYCLU every year in New York City does a concert called Broadway Stands Up for Freedom and they've honored some people in the past and this year. Um, they recognized me for some of my activism and also uh, particularly with Scout Finch because this role has a enormous cultural re relevance. Um, I got to accept an award, the, the first ever Michael Friedman Freedom Award. That's amazing. Congrats it was. on that Thank as well. You. But Thanks. let's talk about playing Scout. Like a lot of mm -hmm. people think, well, wasn't Scout a child? So how does that, <laughs> you're a grown woman, yeah. how did that all come together in the play? You know. In both the book and in the movie, there's the adult scout who's sort of looking back mm -hmm. on her childhood. And I think when they first asked me to come and read the part, I was just like a placeholder because they were going to cast kids. And they realized as they were doing it, they were like, you know, in the theater, you actually could have the same person be the grown up and the adult so she can both be looking back mm -hmm. on her life and also go sort of inside of the story. Uh, quickly, okay. tell everybody what's happening today at noon, Heart Plaza. Um, you can come to the Spirit of De the Spirit Plaza at the Spirit of Detroit and have some hot chocolate and roast us some more and hang out with me and my family and my friends. Excellent. That's awesome. Congrats yeah. again. Thank it's you a delight guys. to have you on the show. I Thank appreciate you it. so much.